Now, I've read, and we've talked a little bit here, and I've read in, in things about you, about why, how, how long you wanted to be a journalist, but was there other, I've had other women to tell me it was Brenda Starr. <laughs> Nope. Is a, you, did you ever have a Brenda Starr moment? Melba Tolliver. Yes, I've, I heard about Melba. Tell us who Melba Tolliver. Melba Tolliver was the only African woman, American woman I had ever seen on television. She had a big afro, and when we turned on our black and white set, there she was. I believe she worked for CBS at the time, and I've never met her. All I know is that she left a very big impression upon me because I I didn't want to be in television, but here was a black woman asking the questions. I like that. I could see that. And to this day, when people approach me and tell me that they're glad to see me on television because they have daughters mm -hmm. who see me and they see that same thing, that makes my day. That's what I want to know, the sense of possibility. I wanted, I wanted to be a journalist because I like to ask questions. And I like the idea that someone might feel responsible for answering them. I liked to watch presidential news conferences. I, li I loved to watch pre political conventions, watching John Chancellor get carried off the floor, or Dan Rather. I found that all terribly romantic. So it really wasn't about a woman or a, even about an African American. It was just about the idea of being in the middle of the mix and getting the questions I had answered. And that wasn't always possible, just sitting on your hands at home.